Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So I've never done one of these videos before. So this is uh, stuff I'm undertaking to my bicycle trade store, which is closed my tour. I think I'm gonna go to two of them. There is one like an hour away that I, uh, I've only been to once, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to go to it again. So I'll let you know how many I end up going to. I'm assuming two. I'll write it up on the screen for you guys, but some of this might be some of my stout inventory that has not sold for me on Poshmark and eBay in, like, an uh, amount of time. Some of the stuff might be stuff that I got, like, cheap at, like, a bag sale or garage sale that I'm going to sell there. Uh, and then some of the stuff might be free donations that I'm going to try there that were donated to my business that I don't feel like selling. So, what I do is I get uh, in-store credit, so... Or I can take cash. So usually every, I like try to save up my credit for sale days or if I find something there I really like, I get it. So they offer 20% more in store credit than they do cash. So, uh, which is really nice. So if you get $16 in cash, they're going to give you, I think, $20 in store credit. So that actually does add up and that is like, yeah. So you'll see. Uh, so... I'm going to go to two areas and see one of the areas is an hour and a half that I don't get. I, I, you guys have seen me thrift in the area before, but I don't go like super often. Um, but I do, I do go get them out and I do like thrifting there, but, uh, a couple of times it hasn't been like the best, but I'm just going, uh, with the mindset this time, like I find what I find. But so my mindset for this trip is, um, We'll just see what happens. Like, some people have asked me when I've, like, said, oh, I'm taking this to the Bicel Trade Store. They're like, how do you know what to take to the Bicel Trade Store? And I know this intro is very long, and I will get to the clothing and shoes and accessories in a little bit. But my thing is, one, you don't know until you don't try. So if you're like, oh, I'm not sure if I'll take this, well, try. Because if you don't take it, then you'll never know. Sometimes I take... My thing is, I've taken them something like eight times, and after the eighth time, they've taken it. So, sometimes you might have to try it a little bit longer. Uh, sometimes they, they just won't take something, and that's okay. And there's always a backup plan. You can choose to list it, donate it, or whatever. Depending on the item, I'll either list it or donate it. But chances are, if I'm wanting to get rid of it, I'll probably just end up donating it. But um, another thing is... What was my other thing? I kind of forgot now, but... All right, editing Keegan here with a quick interruption. So I just want to apologize for my English at the beginning of this video. Even though I only speak English, sometimes I forget how to speak it. Okay, the next thing I forgot that I remember now is to, like, I guess, like, go inside your buy, sell, trade stores and look, look what they have in their inventory. And that can sometimes help to see, like, what they're accepting. So it might uh, help you make your decision on what to take in. Um... Seasonality is sometimes important, so you want to take some things in season. So, and they try to. I notice, like, even though we're in summer right now, they're gonna start stop taking summer items soon. So, if you think, if you're thinking about uh, doing this, take your summer items in as soon as possible. But this one says they take all seasons year round. I really haven't found that to be the case. Some items, yes, but not all of them. But all right, if you're dying to see the clothing, let me show you. And if you guys have any questions, you can also let me know uh, down below. This is J. Jill size small. And this is a crepey rayon um, wrinkled shirt. <laughs> it's definitely wrinkled. People at like, will I steam this before I take this to the buy sell trade store? No. Mine, like, I haven't noticed, they have never said, like, wrinkles as an item. And I've taken them wrinkled stuff that they have accepted, so, um, unless they give me a reason, I'm not gonna... But I feel like they, um, you guys will know if there is an X, that means they did not take it, and if there's a check mark, that means they did take it. And, of course, at the end of this video, I will show you guys how much I got paid and if I bought anything from the Bicycle Trade Store. I might have not bought anything either, so, um... They have taken J. Joe from me. I do like this style, but I just was not moving for me. And probably because it's a size small. And J. Joe doesn't really do the best for me, if I'm being honest. This is PJ Salvage. And it's like this camo, like, sweatshirt. But I don't know. This hasn't been moving for me either. This was a free donation. Alright, this is an Aritzia brand. See, I don't know if they know Aritzia brands. That's kind of an issue. So, this is TNA, size small. And it's like this black sweatshirt with like a big logo at the front. I don't know if they, if they will accept this. Um, cause yeah, but we'll just try it. If not, I, I paid $5 for that. So yeah, 
All right, this is lol size extra small, and it's just like this athletic dress. It's a nice red color. It's really nice and stretchy, but I don't know. Probably, I don't think they really take this brand, but um, I have sold it. It just doesn't sell for a lot, but I do have this listed, but I will keep that listed. All right, this I doubt they will take, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, so this is Max Mara. I paid a dollar for this, and I, I think it's a size, I can't remember, but... Um, it's just like this pencil skirt, it's vintage, it's kind of like that sailor style. So it did have a few flaws on it. It had like a one spot there. And then on the back it had like, I think a few startup moth holes right there. So, um, they might, so people, I've heard people say like, do they, you, can you take flat items to the Bicycle Trade Store? Absolutely, and they have taken some of my flat items before maybe they missed it or just didn't uh care because sometimes even as resellers we see flat items and we just don't um really care but uh the brand is herb style or whatever is good enough or the price it maybe it's good enough uh for the piece but sometimes they think that too this is low size it's small and it's like this orange athletic jacket I was disappointed in this. I actually found this with a pair of mother jeans, and I think this is really cute. It's sundry size 2. I think they will take this. It's a sweatshirt, and it has, like, this cool embroidery detail. I thought this would do well, but I have this listed for $18 and has no attention. So, uh, I do not think they will take this, but I'm going to try it. This is Walter Baker. I have not done very well with this brand, but this is W. 11A by Walter Baker, which is even a lower line, size extra small, and it's like this sweater dress with like a faux leather details. I think this is probably a little bit outdated. All right, so I'm gonna save this one for later because I will say something about that. So these are a pair of Patagonia, like um, hiking pants. I'm not sure if they'll take these, but I will say like these have been listed for a while and they haven't sold. So, I don't always pick up all Patagonia, but I do like to wear it myself, um, as I'm wearing one right now. And I do like to selling some pieces, but those, and usually they, those style does well for me. I don't know why those haven't sold, but they just haven't. So, alright. This, if they don't take this, I will be shocked. Um, they didn't take it one time, and but I'm gonna bring it back, because I will bring stuff back, and they will take stuff if I brought it back. Not everything, but some things they will. So, this is like a... Uh, like a swimsuit and it's new with tags so I don't I don't really know and it's a good size size 2x and it's kind of cute it's a one piece so I don't really know why they didn't take this uh, it's a little bit strange I think it's a little bit strange at least but um, yeah it's all clean and everything like that so I don't know all right this is a sports bra by Clea Carrie Underwood I got this at a back sale so I wouldn't have like paid I do like this selling this brand um, they, I have seen it there, but they don't always take it from me, but as a size large, I like Carrie Underwood, so. Alright, this is another sports bra. This is by Free People Movement. I got this at a garage sale for, like, a dollar, I think. Um, I have it listed for a year and it hasn't sold. Um, but, yeah, so. It looks like that. Alright, here's another swimsuit. This is by the brand Triangle. It does not do the best for me. Looks like that. Triangle, and then here's one of their tags. It's a very expensive brand. Um, but these are size large. The bottoms are size large. And then the top is a size small. So that might, I have a list for $22 and they retail for like hundreds of, do hundreds of dollars. So that might be a reason why they haven't taken it. Or like, yeah, I don't know. They just haven't. All right, this brand I don't do the best with, but they've taken this brand for me every single time. I'm not sure if they'll take this, but it's a made up shirt, size small. And it's like this shirt, it's a bodysuit shirt. Um, it's like clean and everything, but I have this, have this listed for a while. So, um, I got this at a garage sale for $1, so I will try it. Um, and I will list it if they don't accept it, but I think it's cute. It's a crisscross back. Um, oh, how does it go? Crisscross back. Um, sure. And it's new tags by Tentry. It's selling for like $20 online, so. But I think the Bicycle Trade Store will probably accept this. They really like new tag items. So. Alright, this I don't know if I'm going to bring. Because I, I don't know. This has just been a while around for a really long time. It's All Saints. Which is one of my favorite bands to sell. It's a size 8. And it's like this jersey. Like blouse top. Um, 
yeah so it's really funky it has like some like interesting like sleeves uh an interesting hem but uh it has like silk trim as well but it just has some like light pilling throughout but i don't know if i'm gonna take that but sometimes it's just good to say goodbye of things even though if you're a little bit i don't know why i'm at, like i just like the brand so another thing is i filmed this video two days before i went to the stores and some of the things so before then so if i got like an offer on them i'll pretty much accept any offer that i get on like on the items and then um i'll like try to send out like at least like i don't know crazy offers like 75 70 80 percent as long as i'm still making money and i think that i'll make more money than the buy so trace will give me but i won't like send out an offer that's going to make me three dollars if the buy so trade store is going to give me five if that makes sense um so anyways but this all saint shirt sold for 35 dollars on ebay and i flipped the coin and asked siri if i should take it in and siri it was heads and which mean do not take it in and then ended up selling for 35 dollars on ebay and i had it listed on poshmark for 25 dollars for like over a year so sometimes it's just super random but i am not complaining at all and that happened with a few other things you'll see throughout the video. All right, this was a free donation to me. And I'm going to try them there first. They're just a pair of Four Joseph size 30. I don't know the brand. Probably a vintage or older. Just like a pair of kind of flared slightly. Uh, these are 100% leather. So I'm hoping they'll take these, but, you know, we'll see. Um, I guess I probably could sell these myself, but I'm going to try taking them there first. All right, they said they were looking for sweaters. I saw it on their Instagram, so I was like, okay, we'll try this one. This is caveat. I got this in a back sale size, extra small, small, and it's like a poncho. So, very cool style, just hasn't sold for me. That definitely fits oversized. I got this for a dollar. This is a Madewell vest, size small. I got this without running comps, and they were, like, less than $15. Stripa, I'm hoping... So, with these older styles, if they're less than two years, I go uh, with the brains that have the date codes. I go down to the date code, and I will clip it out. Um, I already did it with this one, but, because, yeah. So, we'll see. Alright, this I have to get my sweater shaver for, but it has, like, some pilling. But, uh, I just got my plug-in sweater shaver, so thank you for anyone that recommended it. But, this is Meryl, size extra large. And it's like this athletic dress. It's a, definitely like a heavier ponte, thicker knit. So I think it's more of a winter one, but try that. All right, this I think they should take. This is Tory Burch, size 10. Uh, her clothing does not do the best for me. And I noticed when I was photographing this at the back, it had some, like, it had like this um, spot right there. And I couldn't get it out. So with water, because it's dry clean only. So, um... I've taken them Tory Burch clothing before, and they priced it very high, so I'm hoping to get the good payout for this, but I only paid $2.48 for that, so I'm not too concerned. But, again, her clothing, I should have just probably left the pine, her clothing does eat the best for me. This is a very, very cute Madewell dress. It's a size double zero, which I think it, that's why it hasn't sold. I got this at the Clothes Mentor 90% off sale, and I have taken them some stuff that has been at their sale before, and they've accepted it again. So, uh, I know some, like, of the buy, sell, trade stores will, like, clip the tag, to mark that it has been on sale at their store. So if there's a clip tag, I don't think some will take it, but I might, uh, it has this really cool print, but I don't, I honestly, I think this is such a new style. I don't think I even have to clip out the tag. It's from summer of 20, so I don't, I think that, I think that's okay. I think they prefer two years old, but so summer of 21, but I feel like that should be fine. But all right, I got this the day I found my Ula Johnson dress at this area in this area i don't think i'll find one this time i go but that's okay so small i'll just see what i find but it's like this um tank dress it hasn't sold but it's really nice basic i feel like they should take that all right this is a prana size medium athletic dress i got this in a bag sale um we'll see about that all right this is i paid a dollar for this i think at a garage sale it's a bailey 44 wrap or jersey, like, wrap style. Not a uh, full wrap dress, but... Yeah. This is a J. Crew linen dress size extra small. It just hasn't sold for me. I cut the date cut out of this one, but... It's a nice style, but just hasn't sold. 
Alright, this is, I got this at a bag sale, Moth Anthropology, size small. This is like an interesting sweater. Yeah, it's kind of probably a little bit outdated, but I'll try it. Got this at a bag sale, and I will, this is my if, my, if they don't take it, I just wanted to offer it to them first, but this is a BCBG Max Azria, size medium, and it's like this sweater, um, metallic, with a belt. Alright, these were free donation to me. This is Kalia Carey Underwood, and they are green leggings. Uh, I don't know if they'll take these, but size small. I was I took this to them, and I was surprised I didn't take it. This is a midi skirt green uh, by Maeve Anthropology, size medium. I would like to sell this myself, but skirts just don't sell very well for me, so I'll, I'm giving it to them first to see if they want it. This is a Madewell. A uh, linen blend skirt size four. But I've tried, I've taken them though that and then this is another made well size two skirt. Those are from, oh the skirts and all three of those skirts are from a bag sale. This is a Millie skirt I got at a garage sale for two dollars and fifty cents size four. I don't know. So, yeah. These are some Eileen Fisher pants. Um, size medium, they're ribbed, but I just didn't notice they had some, like, pulls at the fabric, so, we'll see about those. Alright, these are some Madewell shorts, size large, extra large, sorry, they're, like, a sleeve shorts, and I got these at a garage sale, but I didn't, for, like, 50 cents or something, but I really, I didn't realize they had, had a set with them, they had, like, a matching tank top, but, uh, these are from summer of 2022, so I do not need to cut out the date code for that, but I think they'll take those. All right, these are some Kalia Carry Underwood size large um, shorts. I think I got these at a garage sale for like 50 cents. There's the logo. All right, these are some Lululemon. These are the Gathering Crow crop leggings. The style is in... I mean, I've sold this style before, but it's not the fastest mover. And I've taken these to them, and they haven't accepted them. And I don't know why, because I see the style in their store. But, yeah, they're size 6. So if they don't take this this time, I will list them myself. But I'll probably get $20 for them. All right, I could sell these myself, but I want to try them. They are glider size small, and they're a polka dot printed legging. I got those in the back sale. Same with these. These are Zaya Active uh, Crops leggings. I've taken these to them. They haven't accepted them. I got this at a garage sale for a quarter. This is a Rebecca Minkoff like beanie. Um, comps on that were fifteen dollars, which isn't like bad, but I would just rather take it to the buy sell trade store because they probably price it out the same. Um, okay, these are some Levi's size twenty four, and they are a straight leg. Rahem jean. So I got these for a dollar. Um uh goodwill at in this area, but my sister don't want them and I don't really feel like listing them myself because they're size twenty-four. Alright, these are one teaspoon shorts. I think these are might be a little bit too young for their customer base, but they have like a back cut out, but they haven't sold for me, so um, what's next? Oh, so these are another free donation. These are cut from the cloth size 8. They're a skinny jean. I do not think they will take these. Um, they have not been taking skinny jeans, and they even said that, but we'll try it. If not, I'll just donate them, because I don't think they'll sell that well for me. These are Wild Fable. Um, yeah, so just a straight leg jean. They have some, like, puckering at the front, but these were my sister's, I think. Um, yeah, it's just, but they're straight, like, I don't know if, I don't think they'll take these, because they're, if they were a bigger size, they might, but I don't know. They typically don't take Target for me, unless it's, like, new with tags, and a current style, and, like, a larger size. Alright, this is another skirt by J. Crew size 30, and it's cute. I already cut out, but they haven't taken that, which I don't know why. I feel like that's, like, decent style. Alright, these are some Riven Bone size 28, and these are the high raise ankle skinny. I've taken these to them like several times and they haven't taken them. But there's nothing wrong with them, but um yeah, I don't know. More rag and bone, size twenty six. They have a zipper ankle. Um 
and I have some like a little bit of puckering right there. But I got these out there by sale trade, ninety percent off clearance sale. So yeah, but they haven't taken them. So I think it's a super fifteen dollars, and yeah, this is a logo. Although I, I mean, it, this brand does not do the best for me. Um, I think that's all the writing bone though. Yeah. All right, these are. I got these other cards. These are Can Can Petite, but they are a flare leg. So I wouldn't list these myself, but since they're flare leg and like Can Can, I think they'll take them. So. All right, these are Judy Blue, size 29, and they're like one of those patchwork ripped skinny jeans. So I saw them, uh, Judy Blue skinny jeans recently, so I think they should take these because I don't know. So, because these retail for like $50, $60, and the Rag and Bones retail for like $200, but they, Judy Blue sells better for them, I guess. So, these are Madewell, size 28. They're a skinny black jean. I don't think they'll take, I don't know. Black skinny jeans do okay for me, but Madewell does not. Um, DL1961, size 28. Skinny jeans. I don't know why I even bring in skinny jeans, but yeah, you never know. So, we're trying them again. But the one I haven't been to, I've seen skinny jeans, like, actively being bought at their stores. And I'm still actively selling skinny jeans. Um, yeah. This, this, uh, I've also seen this, these stores buy some skinny jeans from certain brands. The only brands are, that I have seen are Mother and a Goldie. But those are those are not brands I'm taking them, at least not yet. Uh, so these are made well. These are straight leg. They're size 24, and they're a tuxedo stripe. Uh, I actually found these while I found a pair of mother jeans. But this was two years ago, and it was my first time finding made well jeans. I found, like, mother way before I found made well. Um, size 24, but they have not sold. I think this whole tuxedo thing out is... This tuxedo stripe down the side is kind of outdated, but... Some people still like to wear them, but... All right, these are frame size 26, and they are a white skinny jean that has lots of distressing. So, there's those. More, oh, my pile fell. These are more frame size 25. I got these for a dollar at Goodwill when they were clearance, but they haven't taken them, but I'm going to try again. They have a shark bite hem. Um, they're in nice condition. Jill 1961, size 26, black skinny jeans. Okay. Adriana Goldschmidt. I do like selling this brand. However, the Fair Hair is skinny. Uh, does well for me, but it hasn't been moving that well in like smaller sizes. And these are size 25. So I think in the future, I'm just going to pass on these if the style, if they are a smaller size. But I have been able to move these in like size 28 and up very well. So. Uh, this is their logo. And this brand I have not been able to move ever, depending no matter the style. These are current Elliot. Um, and they are a kind of a gray. Like honestly, honestly, they're probably like a slim leg. I don't think they were like like a skin tight skinny, but I don't know if they would what's the style name? Maybe it'll tell me. These are the highway stiletto. So is that stiletto? Does that mean skinny or something? I don't know, but Currently, it not a brand I do well with. All right, this is a lol vest. It's down filled, but I would sell this myself. But I kind of I think I noticed like some like discoloration on the arm. All right, this is a Sundance sweater I recently thrifted, but I just would rather take it there. I kind of regret picking it up. So it's small. And it's just kind of basic for the brand. So, this is Zaya. I got this in a bag sale. It says extra large. And it has a spot right there. I haven't tried washing it out yet, but um, I thought maybe they might take that. They might just not see it or not care. Made well size small sweater. I got this in a bag sale. All right, and I got these at a garage sale for $2 each. These are free people. But this style was just a little bit saturated. They're a good size at a size medium, which is like a large and free people, basically, on some pieces. Um, but 
yeah, they, they love, love free people. So, um, that's the sweater. And then they have this one. So they're probably gonna be like, get them out for these. Uh, I, I'm pretty confident they should take those. If they did not, I would be surprised. All right. And then in this, I got out a bag seal, a church bag seal. This is Bobo. Um, and it's new, a new tag sweater from Nordstrom. So I think they should take that as a cardigan. I took that to them and they didn't take it the first time. I was kind of surprised. All right, here's the, the bags. It's, I've taken it. This is another Kate Spade. And it's cute. It's like a little nylon bag, but they haven't taken it. So. This is a Vera Bradley new without tags bag, but haven't taken it. So uh, I don't, they really don't take Vera Bradley anymore, but it's an interesting like Y2K style. All right, this is another Kate Spade. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar, like, a year ago. It just has not sold. So. All right, this was my sister's, and she didn't want it anymore, but she got this at a garage sale, like, I don't know. But, um, it's, like, a, a straw. They eat this stuff up. I mean, this, I'm, like, 100% confident they'll take. I mean, you guys, if they don't take this, like, I'm suing, because this is, like, has this, yeah, they'll take this. Like, I just know. Like, if, if they didn't, I'd be so surprised. And I'll probably, like, insert a clip of me, like, talking if they don't take it. Because I'll be, like, ranting to you guys about how they should have taken it. But I don't think I'll have to do that because I'm pretty sure they'll take this. That's, like, the, this thing and this this thing I'm the most confident about. But I will say, every time I go, I think they're not going to take something and they end up taking it. And I think they're going to take something and they don't end up taking it. So it always goes vice versa. There's always at least one piece. All right, this is Spartina. And it's, like, this crossbody leather bag. Um, this was at my consignment store and at the bag sale, but I just, yeah, it didn't, I just don't feel like listing it. So I'm going to ask, I see if they want it, but yeah. All right. So shall we get to the shoes? The shoes. Um, okay. So the first pair I got at a garage sale and they were in the box. They're not new in box, but they are spring step. So they're a, like a wedge. So they're in nice condition, but there's another pair of these, but I left them behind because they weren't in as good a condition. But I'm hoping they take these because I really don't feel like listing them, but I will list them if I have to. These are Tree Torn Espadrille. Yeah, I've tried this brand because my neighbor said it does well for her, but it has not done well for me. So I have two pairs of Tree Torn in here, and they're both Espadrilles, ironically. Here's the other pair. These were my mom's, so I know she doesn't pay much for them. But another pair of Tree Torn. Espadrilles, so. Alright, I got these at a bag sale, but they are a L Space by Coco Bell, but they're like, yeah, these haven't sold. They're like tassel sandals. These are Mark Fisher, size 7. I got these at my, all that, well, remember that garage sale where I found all that Tory Burch and Lululemon? I got these there for $5, but they, I thought these were really cute, but haven't sold. And I'm like, huh. So most of that stuff from the garage sale is sold. I made like lots of money off of that garage sale, but um, not these, but that's okay. Hopefully the best will trade one with them. They're very cute. I don't know. And same with these. These were also there. Mark Fisher, but I don't think Mark Fisher shoes are decent quality or they're good quality for the price point. Um, so they're like studs. I think, yeah, like these are so, uh, these are so cute, but nobody wanted them. All right. These are journal planner. I got at a garage sale for $1 and I'm hoping they'll take these, but they're a little bit of a probably more of an outdated style but we'll see it's like yeah um, i will listen to myself if they don't take them all right these i got for a dollar and they are jeffrey campbell but they just have some like wear to them but i think yeah these have been listed for a year um so All right, call me crazy, but I'm taking these in. These are Sorel. Um, these are the Camp Sneak Sneaker. They're women's size 11. I have not been able to move these. I mean, they've sat for like over two years. And I have them priced at like $25 now. But I think they should take these. But yeah, I'm not going to clean them up before I take them in. But they have like that scuff back there. But I thought these would have sold so well, but they didn't. All right. I think these got a little bit more damaged while they've been in the bag or whatever. But these are J. Zill, like, meals. 
Um, this one just has somewhere to toe, but yeah, again with that detail, I thought these are really cute, but they haven't sold, so, um, bottoms look pretty good, and the heels look fine, but. Stuart Wiseman Espadrille, I, they have, I've taken these to them, like, three times, and they haven't taken them, and they have, like, nothing wrong with them, I was so surprised, um, but they are a peep toe wedge Espadrille sandal, in a size 7. I've had these for a while as well, but they are Eileen Fisher, like, uh, these are called a Nikki boot, sandal boot, um, they have six and a half, they haven't taken these, I think they haven't sold because they're a little bit of a smaller size, but I don't know, but if this is for $25 for like a year and they haven't sold, so, yeah. Sometimes the Eileen Fisher shoes sell, they either sell in a day or like take forever, but I've tried these before, these are Todd's, somebody got these in a swap box, but they're, they have lots of wear to them, so I have them listed, but they haven't sold, I do like this brand though. They have like that toes and stuff, but um, yeah, you can see yeah, the wear on the soles right there. But I have some, I have seen Todd's, they're priced so high. Like, I was like, oh, all right, here, these are a leather pair of riding boots, and they have a buckle here. Um, they're H by Hardy, very nice quality leather, but I noticed that this one's missing the buckle, but maybe they'll overlook that or just not see it beautiful quality but I don't think I'll take those all right these are Gola uh but when I was listing them I noticed that they had a flaw to them so I got the the this was from a consignment store and they were priced at like $50 and they have some wear to them but but I didn't notice they had like leather like chipping off see that so because of that I'm not gonna sell them but Maybe they might overlook that. I doubt it. But the upper is other material. So they're not even a leather upper. But all right, and these are Yeezys. I don't think they'll take these, but these are like an orthopedic. I got these at a back sale, so I mean I can't complain. Um, and then the very last thing is, so these I sold, but they got returned to me. So they are Coach Espadrille, or not Espadrille, but a cork wedge. Um, the buyer was so nice. I missed, like, they were peeling, like, they're, or they're coming up right there, and I missed that. But I didn't even, so, I didn't even have this box before, but she literally sent them back with a box. I'm so nice, lifting positive feedback and everything. So if they don't accept these, I will, and she was very sad about it and stuff, but I'll just glue, glue it down and literally send them back to her free of charge if they don't take these, but I'm gonna try them. But I think they're very cute, so okay and that is everything oh my gosh wow so you guys will see what they took let me know if you've had success with the bicycle trade stores and um i'll see you guys back with my haul if i found anything or just how much they gave me all right now the time everybody has been waiting for i am back from the bicycle trade store i ended up going to two of them and i'm just gonna run through through the numbers with you guys so yeah i'm pretty happy with how it um uh, turned out, so, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna start off with store two, because I actually did not purchase anything at the second store that I went to, and this is where I received my lowest payout, so this store was Close Mentor, uh, I went to only, I went to two Close Mentors, and so they, the second store, I sold them seven items, and obviously, uh, they would have taken more if I had bought my, the first batch into them first, but I did not, um, all of, all the stuff I took them was left over, so they took seven items that the first store did not take. So, with those seven items, I received $23.50. So, for their cost of goods for each piece was $3.35. So, I would have got $3.35 per item if I just took the cash right on the spot. However, I always opt for the store credit, so I ended up getting a 25% bonus. So, I actually made $29.38 in store credit which brings their cost per item to $4.19 per item. So I, just, I didn't really find anything that I was like super crazy about. So I decided I was going to use my store credit for another day. And yeah, so let me do run through the, I did pick up four, four things to resell from the um, store one. And I also got a, my sister got a pair of earrings, but I just counted that toward my cost of goods. Okay. So, store one took 22 items, 
So before my 25% bonus, I received $5.29 per item. After my 25% bonus, I 25% bonus, I earned $6.62 per item for store credit. So I received uh, $145.63 in store credit. Perfect. I was hoping for over 100 and um 50 between the two stores and I got that. So that was really nice. Uh okay. So I uh I'm estimating of that $145.63. I think conservatively I spent about $45. I honestly think it was a little bit less, but I don't have the exact numbers because some of it was from like a bag sale and other places. So and then since I got four pieces I'm just saying I paid $45 for these four pieces, and that brings my cost of goods through to $11.25 per item, which is a high cost of goods. However, in my store credit, I still have, and with that particular um, sale, I have $59.54 left over. So I still have, I could probably buy like four, even possibly five things with that. So especially if I go on like a sale day. So and I also have like, I still probably have like $200 eh, I or so, maybe two, uh, $175 in store credit that I could use right now. So yeah, let me just show you what I found. So I'll start off with uh, these. So these are a Goldie and these are a size 32 and they are this denim short. I saw these, uh, they were, I saw like this area of distressing like peeking out of, from the rack and I kind of knew what they were because I've sold this uh, particular style a lot of times. So these are called the Parker shorts. It'll say, where does it say it? So if you flip over this Agoldi tag, it'll have like the style number or sometimes it'll just it'll either have the style number or it'll say the name. So it says Parker and then the wash is Swap Me. So, so this was the most expensive thing that these Agoldi shorts were the most expensive things I purchased. I had a 20% off coupon. So keep in mind, all these prices were 20% uh, off. So yeah, but so $28 for these, but I realized they were new with tags. So that was great. So these are called the Parker shorts. They retail for $138 and these like don't ever go on sale because it's one of their most popular items. So um, I already read from this video and I had the tags attached when I came home, but then I accidentally deleted the footage, but I decided I would combine both the stores. Um, so yeah, but so size 32, a goalie, Parker shorts, new with tags. I listed these at $115. I have sold the Parker shorts pre-owned for anywhere from 75 to uh, 85 or 80, $85 or $84 something. So very happy about these. I'm expecting these to sell fast. And if not, it's no big deal, but they do have the button fly. They're hundred percent cotton. So I'm hoping for a fast sale, but we will just have to see. I think that they make a Parker long short. So these are two and a half inch inseam, which is kind of short for some people, but they make a, like a four and a half inch inseam. So, um, yeah. All right, this surprised me. So I have, um, so these are commando size medium, new with tags. This is the thing that was priced to lowest. They did not know this brand. This brand, it reminds me of Spanx. Um, but honestly, this, I found this brand once and it was like a pair of their faux leather leggings and they did better for me than the Spanx leggings. They didn't sell super fast, but they sold for like $60. So I was pretty happy. Um, so they were, new with tags and i'm like okay let me go look them up they did not know the brand because it just says cmc and then the brand under it but if you see like these goldie shorts it'll say or you can see so it says cmc and then but then i'll have the brand if they know it up there so usually if they don't know the brand they will price it lower they price these at 16 dollars then i got 20 percent off so they retail for 178 dollars and then they were marked down but um, yeah, the call, and then I looked at the style, it says the wear commando neoprene wide leg pant. The comps on these were amazing. I listed these at $125. I did not expect to list them that high, but there is none available on Poshmark in a size medium. So yeah, I'm hoping for fast sale, but we will see if I got like a, like a hundred dollar offer on these, that would be great. All right. Then these are a pair of white skinny jeans. Uh, they're cropped, so yes, but these are, they don't have like the tag here, but these are mother, so that you can see the back pocket there. So I couldn't see the tag there, but I looked at the button, and if you see that button, that's with the mother button looks like it says mother always like you best on the button. And then these are the looker crop and fairest of them all. So I have 
I wasn't sure about these because these were priced at $25. So I paid $20 on my store credit for them. But I really like selling this brand and I haven't found it in a while. And they're size 28. Um, I didn't see any flaws with them. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to try them. So I listed these at 85. Uh, comes for ranged, but honestly, I think for some things, I just think I can get like, I for some brands, I just price higher than like, I just know I can get more for those than some people have sold them for. So I'll wait for the right person for those. I sold a pair of Mother White skinny jeans last year for $100. So that was great. Um, yeah, okay. Ready for my favorite thing though. So I have never found this brand anywhere at the buy, sell, trade store, kit, thrift store anywhere, but they are a flared jean with a tiered raw hem. So basically, I don't, even though I typically, I found these at the buy, sell, trade store, but I'm not crossing them off my list because it was at the buy, sell, trade store, not a thrift store, but they are in excellent condition. And do you see the brand? Veronica Beard jeans. So these are made in LA and these are called the Carson Ankle Flare High Rise. It has the Pipes and Shaw LLC. So um, I was watching Restyle Secrets Heidi's video and she found two Veronica Beard at like her Salvation Army. Sorry if I spoiled it, but she was concerned because it said Pipes and Shaw LLC. And when I got, if I've gotten Veronica Beard from like, I think a Poshmark bundle or something. And it said Pipes and Shot LLC for the care tag as well. And I'm like, oh, is this fake? But it's not. I don't know why her says that, but it does. I think it's like a, well, they're sisters or sister-in-laws or something. It's it's weird. They, like, are both named Veronica, but then they married into, like, the last name Beard. Very um, interesting. But these are size 30. So the only one for the, uh, these were priced. I thought these were priced very reasonably considering they knew the brand because it says Veronica Beard up there. They were priced at $23 and they're an on-trend style with that ankle flare. So I was like, okay. So I looked up comps because I, I don't really have any experience with uh, this brand um, with their denim at least. And I've heard mixed things about their denim. And the only, uh, I could only find one listing ever on these and for a button fly with the raw hem, uh, tear hem. And the wash is called Peace Hem, and they were size 31, and they sold for $135 pre-owned. So, since that was the only one I could see, I decided to list these high at $150. So this was my highest thing that... So the two, it was funny, because the two things I paid the lowest amount of money for were ended up being the high, the things that I listed the highest. So, Veronica Beard kind of can be all over the place with comps when I was researching, but um, that seemed to be like a good piece. These commandos I was happy about because those brought my cost of goods down. And these I just, I, don't, I just like listing denim and then I like a Goldie as well. So that is everything. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can uh, do some more buy, sell, trade, store finds, but thanks so much for watching and let me know your favorite piece.